Good afternoon, girls, and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. It's another lovely day here in Scotland. I shouldn't just say welcome, girls. There's a lot of uh, guys coming on, too, and I know a lot of your husbands watch as well. So if you hear a bunch of unusual noises, I'm here outside in lovely Scotland in isolation. Who's come on? Hi, Donna Hep. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, welcome. And I know I'm going to have a lot of new people on today, so that's wonderful. Hi, Leah. And uh, Julie. Hi there. And Deborah. Oh, Deborah, you must have got up early. Good morning. Hey, Dana, how are you? Good to see you. And Sarah and Christy. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say hello to everyone before I get started because it's so nice to see everybody coming on. Good morning, Dana. Hey, Jane, how are you? How's you and everybody? in your lock-in. Doing okay, I hope. I saw a lovely picture of Emma today with the bump, <laughs> which was lovely. Oh, that's great, Donna. I'm glad you're catching up too. And Debbie Rubinetti, hi. And Kathy, how are you, Kathy? You're still drinking a lot of wine, eh? I hope you're getting a delivery to the house. <laughs> hey, Trisha. Hi. And Clara, how are you, Clara? I Actually, I meant to phone you yesterday. I will catch up with you at some point. Hi, Rose. And Kathleen, I can see better today. The sun's not so shining in my eyes. Kathleen, yes. Kathleen Waddy from Ontario, Canada. Lovely to see you. And Christy Wilkinson. And Nick, how are you, Nicholas? Saw your grandson today. Well, not really saw your grandson, but saw the bump today. Nicole. Davino, how are you? I joined up on that page you sent me. It was lovely. Thank you. I'm going to have a good look at that later. Elizabeth and Allison, how are you? And Karen, how are you girls all doing in lock in? Anyways, hi, Trisha. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, I was just thinking my hair is, uh, you know, like Ab Fab, Patsy on Ab Fab, except after she's had about 29 bottles of Bollinger. <laughs> I just can't do a thing with it at the moment. It's just getting so long and I, I haven't got the courage to cut my fringe yet. <laughs> I think I might have to. Hi, Nicole. Oh, thank you very much. You're on a detox today, Clara. So this is gonna be a great recipe for you. This is my roasted red pepper hummus. This is a little recipe I just made up myself and because uh, I'm a great roasted red pepper lover so I'm going to go through all the details with you as soon as hi Kathy Kathy Piper hi and mint julep nice to see you and Patricia oh thank you Kathy I wish I was over there having a wee cocktail with you hi Paula nice to see you and Jackie McRoy how are you Mary hello Oh, you made the fat burning blueberry muffins today. Terrific. Excellent. Amy Jo, hi. And Patty, morning from Toronto. One of these days I'm going to get over there. Cindy Delude, how are you, Cindy? Are you still hula hooping? And Jody. Oh, thank you, Sarah. That's awful kind. And Peggy, hi. And Susan. Hi, Christine. Wow, you're all piling on today. Goodness, that's great. Hi, Pam. I was hoping to see my friend Lorna pop up on here, but maybe she's forgotten. Hi, Linda, because tomorrow's her birthday, and we're actually going to do a little Zoom party, and I wish that I could share this recipe with them, but I can sit here and eat it and pretend that uh, they're joining me. Uh, it's 10 a.m. Kathy's going to pour me a glass of wine, but it's 10 a.m. <laughs> Kathy, you're bad. <laughs> Hi, Ann. Oh, that's great, Kathy. Thank you very much. Well, I'm happy to see everybody here, too, which is wonderful. And it's nice to be uh, in a freedom mode as well. Don't have to watch what I say and watch what I do. <laughs> and most of you will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, is it sunny in Nova Scotia? Oh, no, it's still cold in Nova Scotia. Got that. Oh, nice day in Wisconsin. Lovely, Pam. Hi, Anne. 
I wish you could all come online, like, you know, house party, but I don't think, I think it would be too much if we did that. Hi, Jody. And Wendy, hi. The numbers are going up here, so I'll just wait a few more minutes. It gives people a chance to get on. And I think Lynn Forrester's coming on too, but she had to go for a pee first, she told me. <laughs> Lynn, I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> anyway, hi, Christine and Susan, hi. And Tina, hi there. Well, so nice of you girls to all come on. I thought, uh, I have done a video of this before, and it's on my YouTube. If you ever get a chance to go over to my YouTube, it's Mary uh, Space Premier Crew. Or you can find it on my, if you go on to my website, www.maryjoancalder.com, all the links to my social media are there. So to my Facebook, to my Instagram, to my YouTube. So they're all there so you can catch up on some of the videos if you miss out. But all my things here on Mary's Kitchen page are all here for you. They're nice, easy recipes. Hi, Stuart. Nice to see you. See, I told you the guys come on. They want to learn how to cook too. Hey, Lynn, you're back. <laughs> Did you go for your pee? <laughs> well done. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you came on, Lynn, because I want to talk about you. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to make something easy. and uh, This is really kind of a nice thing to have in the fridge if you just want a little snack and you don't want to eat too much. It's great to have at lunchtime. It's also great. Uh, I know a lot of you girls have made my tortilla wraps, which I have here in a bag, which I had, which I'll show you because it's just a six ingredient tortilla wrap. And what I usually do with this is I put the, once I've made the hummus, I spread the hummus on here, put some roasted chicken and salad in there and make a nice little wrap, which I love, which is a great thing to have for lunch. But Lynn Forrester, who I want to talk about, she crisps them up, which I did. I crisp one up, Lynn, and she actually makes little pizzas out of this, which is great. So then I crisp this up on purpose, but I also crisp it up because I can cut this into little pieces and this is good like a pita bread to use for the hummus as well. So you've got a really nice dip. And what I would do with this is I would coat it in a little olive oil. If you have any sumac seasoning or your bagel seasoning or a sh uh, hot mama's, slap your mama's seasoning, whatever that one is I bought in North uh, New Orleans. And just coat that in a little olive oil, put a little seasoning and warm it up in the oven and then cut it into little bits. So if you're using a pita bread, it's a great thing to do with pita bread as well or any kind of like flat bread like that. Put a little olive oil on them and uh, just brush it on, put a little seasoning on top, whatever seasoning you like, and then you can use it for your hummus dip as well. So I just wanted to show you that, Lynn, because I was thinking of you when I crisped that up and I thought, oh, that's what Lynn does to make her pizzas. So it's dead easy to do, um, but don't put them in the toaster because it kind of just the toaster doesn't work. The toaster doesn't toast them up. Kelly, how are you? How's things in the wine business? And hi, Dolly. Are you managing to get the bottles out to the public? I know Emma Blacher at Romeo Vineyards in California there. Her and her husband are very busy with deliveries. <laughs> No wonder, I guess when you're locked you know, when you're locked in, you want some wine to drink, that's for sure. Hey, Wendy. Uh, Lynn, no, I'm not frozen. Oh, you, you mean I froze on your camera. Oh, no, maybe. I, hey, George, how are you? How's things at the beach in Florida? Oh, uh, Carolyn, I crisped it up in the, um, on the grill. In, in, on my grill, I stuck it on the grill because these are quite pliable. And uh, I just did it on both sides. It's kind of what you're doing, really. The process is just drying it out, all right? So that's exactly what you're doing there. Hey, Tom, how are you? Thank you very much. Hi, Heidi and Zoe. Now, listen, I guess we better stop all this chat, chat, chatting for a minute, and I'm gonna get on with doing some cooking. So what I want, uh, we're gonna have first is a tan, a can, a tin of, uh, now I'm start, starting to talk like Pat, Patsy from Absolutely Fabulous after two bottles of Bollinger. Uh, a tin of chickpeas, 
or garbanzo beans they're called, whatever you want to call them, and this is a 400 gram tin. All right, and this is, I've got some organic dark tahini paste. Now, if you look in my videos on YouTube, you can make your own tahini paste, okay? Because quite often this is a very expensive commodity. It's made from sesame seeds. I make it myself, not this particular bottle, but I do make it myself. And uh, I, what I generally do is I roast my uh, sesame seeds a little bit, and then I put them in a Nutribullet until it really, really, really creams up. So you get your own tahini paste. And if you're wondering what that is on top, that's just sesame oil. That's oil that's been extracted from the seeds of the sesame. Okay, and if you can, if you've got an Asian supermarket near you, buy a huge bag of sesame seeds uh, because it's they're great for using to make your own tahini paste. And it's really, really easy. All right, so you can have a look at that. Hi, Lisa. Oh, and my wraps. Well, the tortilla wraps are very easy. There's just six ingredients. And this recipe is so simple. And what I was going to suggest to you was um, you can roast your own red peppers if you want. So what I would do is I would take a, ro a pepper, a red pepper, cut it in half. I would just brush the top, the peel, the outside peel with um, some olive oil. Then I would roast it in the oven. Probably takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, get the skin nice and black. Pull it out of the oven. Throw it in a plastic baggie and just leave it in there for about 15 minutes then your skin will just peel right off. In fact, it doesn't even take 15 minutes, it takes about 5 minutes. But what I like to do is I like to buy roasted red peppers in a jar because it makes life so much easier and you get about 8 peppers in here and uh, to do prepare 8 peppers takes quite a lot of time and it's a bit of a messy to do. So I think make your life easy and just buy yourself a jar of roasted red peppers. And I'll tell you who sells those. Um, I think you can get them in Aldi supermarket. Hey, Lynn. Oh, you put yours in the toaster. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, Linda, hi. And Teresa, hi, how are you? Um, okay, so let's get started. So I've got tahini paste. I've got uh, three cloves of garlic here because I'm going to make mine nice and garlicky. I said put in one green chili and one red chili, but I've only got a red chili at hand. I'm going to put the juice of two limes. Now look, these are really, you know, discolored. But that doesn't put me off at all because those are full of juice, all right? And I'm not doing anything with the zest, so I'm going to use these up. But I am going to take the zest off this beautiful yellow lemon, and I'm going to squeeze the juice out of this as well. i uh, got olive oil. So that's basically your ingredients. You can basically make um, hummus from uh, chickpeas, tahini, a little bit of garlic, and some olive oil. That's really basically all you need. If, beg your pardon, excuse me, if you want to make it a little bit different and a little bit more lemony, just add some lemons into it and you can make it taste a lot different. So there's all sorts of things you can do with hummus, okay? So this isn't just a one-off recipe and you can add different spices to make it different as well. So Gloria, hi, and Grace, good to see you girls. Thanks for coming on. All right, so let's get started. First of all, I've got my uh, chickpeas here, and I'm going to drain the water into here, into this little uh, jug, because I want to use maybe a little bit of this water later on. I'm not sure. We might, we might not, but I always like to reserve things just in case. So I hope my, I didn't even check. Oh, it is working. Good. This is my old, very old, prehistoric Maginix. I've got several Maginixes, so you're getting the pleasure of this one today. And then, let's put them in there first. And let's put both them up. Now, some people say if you take the skins off the gar garbanza beans or the chickpeas, it makes it much creamier, but hey, who has time to do that? I certainly don't. Hi, Lori. How are you? And Maureen? And Linda? Hi. Okay, so we got one tin of chickpeas in there so far. I'm going to put my three cloves of garlic that I've cut up. I'm going to put them in there. And then that in the swirl. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of tahini paste. 
and I'm using the Meridian Organic Dark. And I'm just going to take this lid off again. This is easier because this stuff is quite messy to do. With. So just, you can put two tablespoons, you can put three tablespoons, whatever you like. I'm going to get a little bit of that oil. There we go. This is a very nutty tasting uh, paste. In fact, I'm just going to put three in because it really does taste quite rather nice. It's even nice to mix with other things, tahini. It's quite a nice one for using for dips. I'm going to put a bit of that sesame oil in there too. Okay, let me just put the meat back on there. I'm going to put my roasted red peppers in. I'm going to put my chili in. put your seeds in as well. And if I had a green chili, I'd be using that in there too. So I'll just mix that up nicely. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to put a little bit of this, um, I told you this thing was old. I'm going to put a little bit of this in, just to cream it up a little bit better. down into the middle of our Magimix. If you have a Nutribullet, you can make this in your Nutribullet or your Vitamix as well. It's very easy. And this is going to need a little bit, tiny bit more liquid, but I still have to get my lemons ready to put in here. And my, oops, and my limes. Hang on, let me just put that there. Okay. Move that over to the side for a second, and I'm going to get these um, limes, the juice of these limes. You see how juicy they are? It would be a really crying shame to waste them just because the skin had gone a bit funny in color. So just give them a squeeze, get as much juice out of them as you can. These actually, they're very juicy when they get a little bit cold like this. Put that over there. sure you can see me there. Yeah. Good. Let's see who's on, Lynn. Okay, I'll see you later on, Lynn. Thanks. Thanks for coming on anyway. <laughs> Lynn's a great friend of mine, and she's a great prepper. Now, my friend Lorna Rayburn, I don't know whether she came on yet. She might have come on when I wasn't looking. Hi, Phyllis. I just wanted to wish Lorna tomorrow a very happy birthday. 21 again and uh, we're going to do a zoom at 3 o'clock tomorrow a bunch of us and uh, have a, probably a few wines I would think a few wines will be had and just wish Lorna a happy birthday I'll just give that another little mix up good now I'm going to put the lemon now you can put the zest in if you want. I'm not going to bother just now, but I, I did put it in the recipe there that you can put the zest in if you want. You can put the zest in from the lemon and the lime if you want. But I'm just going to put the juice in today. Just to make things easy. And then if I still feel that it needs a little bit more liquid, I can either add the bean liquid or I can add a little bit more olive oil. And olive oil will make it a little richer. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to add, I've got a little touch of cumin here. That's all. That finishes that off. A little bit of pepper. And you can add some more pepper to taste. A little bit of salt. I usually use sea salt, but I haven't got any just at the moment. So, I can move this out of the way now. Good. Excellent. Ooh, it's warm out here. This is uh, my cilantro or my coriander. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that right off there. I might even try to grow that later in my garden. And I'm going to put that in here. 
and that's going to just get all emulsified. Use the stems as well because the stems have a huge amount of flavor in there. There. So you want to make this as creamy as possible. Hi Julie. I love cumin too, so that's what I mean. You can put your different spices in. We've got that uh, bagel seasoning that you girls like to use. I know that. Hi Darlene. Oh, thank you. Hey Cheryl. Chris, hi. Now I like to put cumin in things too. I think it really, really tastes nice. But what we've got here is we've got some chili. I'm just going to let this really, really mix up well. I'm just going to have a little taste and see what we're, where we're at and the consistency. Yeah, very nice. I'm taking my big spoon, not the spoon I just put in my mouth. Oh, it's beautiful. It really, really tastes lovely. And the tahini gives it a lovely, lovely nutty flavor. I want to make sure I get all the beans off the bottom. Yeah, I don't think I was using my dipping spoon <laughs> to go back in there again because I was. So you want to try and get this as creamy as possible. Ah, oh, that's it. There we go. It's like a jet engine. you in your fridge for about a week and I'll show you what to do with this and then just serve it with some um, crudities there we go I want to get every bit if you've got one of those scrapers to go around the bowl use that can you hear my seagulls this is beautiful it's turned out really nice I don't want to waste any of this so good and delicious. So there you go. That's it in a nutshell. Now what I would do if you have any pine nuts, roast them a little bit, put a little tiny bit of olive oil on the top, a little swirl, okay and if you haven't got any pine, you could put some pine nuts on there. I don't have any pine nuts so I'm going to put some smoked paprika just for decoration. And that's it. There you have it. Roasted red pepper hummus. And how I serve it is I've got some carrots here. I've got some cucumber. I've got some uh, uh, peppers. And I saw uh, one of my friends had something on Facebook and another group I belong to and it was so cute. Uh, she had the little uh, mason jars and she had the hummus in the bottom of the mason jar and she had all the crudity sticking up in and around the mason jar. I just thought it was terrific, but you need to keep that in the fridge so the vegetables don't go limp on you. Hey, Kathy. Yeah, a little extra garlic. Well, I put three cloves in there for the one tin. I am going to give this a try. Oh, yes, I wanted to show you something else. Mm. I haven't had hummus for weeks and weeks. I'm so excited to make it because I've I've got my tortilla wraps, and I like to make those kind of chicken Caesar wraps with the hummus in there. Um, oh, I know what I was going to show you. If you have one of pita bread or whatever you have, and then just cut it into triangles like chips. Another one of the girls showed me, oops, that jumped. Uh, her and her daughters, they coated the um, tortilla wraps, crisped them up and coated them in different flavors so they had garlic and all sorts of flavors. Let me just try this. I'm still eating the carrot. Hey Lisa. Hi Janice. Mmm. Really good. So, there you go. A little snackette 
to have with your little glass of wine and you can cut these as big as you like but if you're going to do these as I said put a little olive oil on a little seasoning will really make them taste so nice and these would be great just to serve if you're having a little glass of wine in the garden or whatever and uh, so there you go that's about it and thanks for coming on to Mary's Kitchen and joining me today and if you get a chance go onto my website have a look www.maryjoancalder.com and you can see some other recipes that are on there there's some pet treats that are on there if you haven't got the copy of my book that's also available on there and all you need to do is click a button and there you go so I hope you've all had having a wonderful day and something to share with you in isolation another lovely recipe that's easy to make and uh, as I say this is a great little snack that you can enjoy with a little glass of wine. I hope my friend Lorna gets a chance to make that for Irving today. And uh, just to wish Lorna a very happy birthday as well. <laughs> she may be on, she may be in the background there. I'm not sure, I haven't seen her name come up yet. But anyway, you girls have a wonderful day. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, I did the lemon chicken tarragon for you last week. And I did a video of it. But stupid Mary, deleted the video. I don't know how or why or what it happened, but anyway, I accidentally deleted the video. So I have all the ingredients here and I'm going to make um, lemon chicken tarragon on Sunday at three. And that's my one pan cooking series that I'm doing. All right, so I will be making that for you on Sunday. Okay, because tomorrow at three, I've got a birthday party to attend, <laughs> a virtual bird birthday party to attend. So thanks for coming on girls, really lovely to see you all and I hope you're all very well and uh, I hope you get a chance to enjoy making this uh, roasted red pepper hummus. Have a wonderful day, take care, bye. Remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours.